Welcome to PDW Revolution Road. I am Blaine Phoenix. And I'm Julius Stabler. And it's time for our second pay-per-view ever. We've got five matches for you tonight, including two championship bouts. Man, that global championship on the line. Hammer DDT defends against Mace Atlas. Tell us about our first match tonight, Julius. Oh. Yeah, looks like we got the Duality Rangers. And uh, looks like we got uh, Daigo Okami. Uh, uh, All right, Daigo and uh, Sakazuki coming down to the ring, of course, flanked by Toka, who we've seen wrestle in several uh, Divas matches. Yep. I guess she's not going to do a flip. We were hoping she would, but uh, well, I guess, uh, hey. Now, no the reason for her to get too excited. I guess she's not competing tonight, so. Yeah, she's probably bored right now, I would imagine. <laughs> Possibly. But I guess we've got this bonus match for you because we've got some new debuts to get to. And I believe you, uh. Uh. <laughs> you, you favor these uh, gentlemen, I'm sure. Of course I favor these gentlemen. Look at these men. These are people we threw into their positions. They are the mayoral administration. Looks like it. Okay, Julius, so we know who Mayor Duncan is there in the middle. What about these other guys flanking him? That is Police Chief Richard right there, the one with the police suit. And the, and the other guy over there is uh, Gabriel, I mean, Gabriel Blomit. Gabriel Blomit. Yeah, I was going to say, he looks a little familiar. That beard is kind of hard to... Misplace. Yeah, he's the judge. He is the man who has uh, handed out hundreds and thousands of verdicts. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe that's why the crowd is booing. Yeah, uh, you know what? They Maybe if they will understand that some of those verdicts were entirely just... Well, in any case... We're familiar with Mayor Duncan, as I said earlier. Uh, his debut match, he managed to defeat Ken Maction. Kind of a surprising turnabout there. And now it's, uh, I guess he's brought more of his friends now that he's got the hang of the business. Yep, he knows he know how things work now. Don Macchio is impressed with our mayor. Even though it's just a, even though a mob boss should probably be uh, more apprehensive towards the police chief and the and the judge here. Don Macchio taking a liking to these two. Well, apparently. Well, here comes Daigo to start things off with, I believe, yeah. that's the police chief, Richard Bergman. Yeah. Goes to work on the arms right away. So this is, again, a bonus match for you tonight here on uh, PDW Revolution Road before we get to all the main stuff. Yep, and uh, Richard already gets out of that little arm bar there. Uh, he's uh, dragging Dago back. And, Ooh. oh boy, he just uh, busts on the knee right there. Yeah, jams his leg into the canvas. And remember, this isn't the last time we'll be seeing the Duality Rangers tonight. Sets in Sakura, the Pink Ranger, gets a women's championship match against Chroma. Yep. Ooh! I see the gut right there on, uh, on our police chief. Now, Julius, I heard something interesting about the uh, the pre-show here. Is, uh, Mayor Duncan was supposedly running around backstage telling people to vote for him for global champion. How the, how the heck does that work? Well, he gets enough votes. He gets a chance to... Uh, he's hoping that people would vote to put the belt around his waist. Yeah, I don't uh, I don't think that's how wrestling works. You, you compete for titles. You don't, uh, you know. Well, they could go ahead and vote for him to be the number one contender for the title. Uh-huh. And and Don Macchio is just, uh, he's letting this one go, huh? Yeah, he's gonna let this one go because, uh, <laughs> hey, you know what? I hear Don Macchio probably uh, voted for um, Mayor Duncan. Well, that seems a little biased, but, uh, Yellow Ranger Sakazuki here going to work on the judge, Gabriel Bram Brahman. Gabriel fighting back, though. Damn, Gabriel's a big man. Yep. Oh, my God, He's and the big man's hit. going to the top rope. Where the heck is he going? He's going to work on this little munchkin. Oh, you and the munchkin thing. 
Well, if they're little, I'm going to call it as I see it. Oh, wow, nobody home. The uh, Sakazuki completely no-selling that one, but uh, Gabriel's got him hooked up again. Looking for a power slam. No, counter into the inverted DDT. Ah! Oh, get up, Judge. Hand down your verdict already. Ooh, not with that baseball slide, he's not. Remember, you can interact with us during the show with the new PDW texting system, such as this first one asking, where's the Black Ranger and Green Ranger? Oh, uh, there is no Black Duality Ranger, but the Green Ranger, hmm, he's, he's backstage watching his fellow Rangers at the moment. That's right, we did see uh, Duality Green participate before. I believe yes. tagged with Sakazuki in their debut. Yes, he did. And now uh, Sakazuki is uh, giving Daigo a chance to uh, chance with I mean to uh, tag with him here. All right, and another text has the, have the police chief and Cloaky the Bear ever worked together? He's uh he's worked with him on a few assignments when there were a couple of criminal cases oh. that came up. Why is there a chair in the ring? Did I miss that one? I I. Oh, I I, God, look at the double team into the corner. Ooh. Shoots the half into the cover here. One. Oh, well, that was... <laughs> All right. That was fast. Oh, I'm going anywhere. So what the heck's the mayor doing? The mayor is just, uh, he did the wiring the code book. Oh, the okay. By taking it off, huh? <laughs> He's just admiring it. Sometimes you have to remove it to get a closer look at it. Nice. He wants to know what the what material these turnbuckles are made out of. Uh huh. Well, Sakazuki in trouble here is uh, kind of a jackknife power bomb delivered by the police chief, Richard Bergman. Yep. And now he's getting flipped over. And oh, what? Oh, stomp to the abdomen. Yep. All right. Another cover. One. Another one count. Another text. I'm a big fan. A big fan of Park Rangers. He here today. Well, I don't. I don't believe the Park Rangers here tonight, unfortunately. Uh, well, no. But uh, hey, the referee finally got rid of that chair. That's that's good. You know, doing your job. Eh, oh, you know, maybe German. maybe the may, maybe one of them needed a place to sit. I don't know why he got rid of that. Well, any case, oh, wow. Oh. Richard just put all of his body weight on Sakazuki there. Talk about a Goomba stomp. That's true. Goomba stomp in the arm now. Ooh. Uh-oh, another cover. Richard likes going for these rapid covers, doesn't he? One. Oh, but Daigo breaks this one up. Yeah, Daigo's not going to let his uh, friend go out like that. Yeah, certainly not. Even though the Duality Rangers haven't had much success besides Setsuna, they do run together. It's clear they have some kind of bond. Oh Look my god, look at that uppercut. Wow. Richard just flung him into the air. Uh-oh. He's dragging him out of the, away yeah. from the ropes and he might be going for another... Ooh, oh, I thought he was going for another pin. Yeah, you and me both. Oh, Sakazuki Whoop. using those athletic feet to counter, kick to the midsection. Richard now hung up on the ropes. Oh, I think uh, Gabriel taking exception to that, and Richard sent to the outside. Oh, boy. What, what do you, what, oh, boy, what's Sakazuki going to do? I don't know. Sakazuki in the ropes here. Oh, my God, no. Oh, swings oh. to the outside, but, uh, God dang. Yeah, uh, Gabriel looks like he's ready to go to work on uh, <laughs> yeah. Sakazuki here. He's not going to do let this continue. Oh, and Richard's all the way uh -oh. back to the feet. Oh, no. Here oh. comes a double team. Yeah, of course. The police chief and the judge are already working together. Good show, you yeah. do. Sakazuki show. probably did not want to do the suicide dive in that part of the ring. And there you see Richard and the mayor celebrating for a little bit. Richard back into the ring finally. Ugh. Oh, Sakazuki He's counters again. Uh oh, caught! Oh, sit out, power oh, bomb! Power bomb! Yep. He's ready for more. Oh, Richard, Richard is standing him up. I was whipping to the uh, turnbuckle there. Ooh, stiff uppercut! Oh god, another! Oh Ooh. my god! Look at all these uppercuts! Holy flip! 
Is he trying to knock his helmet off? He's going to rattle him. Whips him into the corner. Oh my Ooh. goodness. Look at the abuse here with the uppercuts. Coming off the ropes here. And a standing drop kick. Running hey. drop kick. Nice combination there by Richard, who's... Uh, oh, but look, look at that. Oh, Saka Saka Kulana. Yeah, out of nowhere. Here's the cover. One, two, I don't know where Daigo's eight. going, but... Uh, Gabriel breaks that one up. Oh, and takes a cheap shot as well, but look at the Red Ranger, Daigo, not taking this crap as well. Everybody's cheap shot and everyone else. What are these the Rangers? You know what? These Rangers are going to be arrested at this rate. Yeah, you can't arrest them. There's a hold harmless agreement. There is. Oh, and where is that? Show me, show me on the fight where, where the harmless uh, harm agreement is. I'd rather show you the Carfax. Nice Olympic, modified Olympic slam there by Sakazuki. Uh, Carfax, huh? Yeah, uh... Not yeah, key facts, I... Julius. Carfax. <laughs> oh, no. You said Carfax. I'm going to go ahead and give you the facts about your car. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sakazuki trying to... Oh, look at this. Double underhook here. Throws him over into the backbreaker. Ooh. Jeez. Sakazuki's been in the ring for a while. It looks like Daigo wants a tag, but, uh... I don't know if we're going to get it. Sakazuki determined to do something here. He's telling him to get up. Is he about to... Make a... Oh! Uppercut off the top. Nice counter by Richard. Oh. What? Oh, oh, Daigo quickly breaking that up. Jeez. That would have been it if it weren't for Daigo. That Damn. really would have been it. Probably. Richard getting a... Bum deal on the positioning of the ring cover there. Oh, oh duality oh, kick! Oh, jeez! He, he is not. He's out. Into the cover. Gabriel's got to get in there and break it up. Oh, he trips though. And the oh. duality rangers pick this one up. Oh! They, they actually won. They actually winning tonight. Yep, the duality rangers won. coming out of nowhere here with the victory. Could this be foreshadowing to Cessna Sakura's inevitable victory? Oh god, look at that uppercut. Look at this here, Sakazuki throws him out. The duality kick right to the face. Richard yep. was Richard was dominating this match, but that just completely knocked him out, and Gabriel tripping over, trying to break up the pin here. Oh, they broke the LCD doing that. God dang it. Why is everyone breaking our freaking LCD? Yeah, they broke the LCD. They need to be arrested for that. Oh. Mayor police Duncan's chief. already led away his police chief and judge as the Duality Rangers celebrate the victory. But uh, this next one may not be as friendly. Yeah. We got... Denise Moore coming down to the ring. We all know what she thinks about her opponent tonight. Remember, Denise and uh, Kiki Spencer Kagura had a one-on-one -on -one contest a few weeks ago. Kiki, uh, she took one heck of a beating in that match, Julius. You and I were both surprised that she somehow slid out with the victory. Uh, you know, you know what? That is the determination of anime and manga. You see, <laughs> you've read a lot of it yourself. You've seen how the main protagonist always stands up despite getting their butts kicked all the time, right? Yeah, well, it's very true, and it certainly won the, it certainly won the crowd over. As uh, here comes Kiki Spencer Kagura. Yep. And uh, this is no ordinary rematch, Julius. Remember, this is falls count anywhere. Denise wants there to be no questions asked when this match is over. So pinfall submission can count anywhere. You don't have to be in the ring. You can go fight outside the ring. You can go in the crowd if you want. You can go backstage. Wherever these two, wherever the wind takes them, Julius. What do you think about that? I like the idea of the wind taking them backstage. I want to see some backstage carnage. Now let's see here how, uh, let's see how nasty things get as uh, Don Macchio did not want to restrict these two from their, uh, their feud here. And especially with uh, Denise's claim that Kiki might have had something to do with bribing one of the referees. Yeah, and she didn't do anything like that. Did she even look like the the type to have the money to bribe a referee? Well, not she's spending it all in anime and manga. Here we go. False count anywhere. 
Yeah, here we go. That means there's also no disqualifications, everybody. Oh, Janice starting things right off. Takes her down. Yeah. Yep, she's already going going ham on her. Oh, look at this counter, though, in a similar fashion by Kiki. Yep. The much taller Denise Moore is looks like he's going to have a hands full. Yeah, nice leg drop there, Kiki, with uh, an opening flurry Ooh. here, running drop kick to the back. That's gonna it's gonna cause some damage. Oh, but yep. Denise paying her back for the jawbreaker earlier. Yep, and oh, I was over the top over the rope. rope. Oh boy, here we go. Yep, drop kick to the outside. Yep, time to take this outside. Let's go. All right, well. Oh, Ooh. God, Denise, right off the freaking steel post. Jeez. Here we go. Time for a little payback for what Denise did last time. Yeah, I remember Denise ambushing Kiki recently. Oh, hits the running drop kick, though. Yep. The referee is outside oh. of the ring. He is following these two. Balls count anywhere. Yeah, if these two want to go for a pin right there on the floor, they can. And yep. uh, Denise might after this backbreaker. Jeez. Good yep. shot there. Oh, but Kiki counters. Just kicks her right in the face. Man, these two are just... Oh, a huge slap. These two are not giving away an inch. Counters here. Look at this. Inverted oh. DDT on the floor. Back and forth already. Here's a cover. Oh, here we go. Referee's got to count it. One. Two. Oh, not even. Barely even two. And Denise gets the uh, shoulder up. Ah, another stiff kick to the back. All right, stop from the front. Ugh. Oh, it goes for these kicks. We're not, we know these kicks well enough. Yeah. Yep, each and every time she lists off a, one of her favorite anime that she's, I mean, that she loves to, uh, watching. Oh, oh wow. Oh. And Denise oh, having trouble getting out of the gates here. Yeah. Oh, Denise catches her with that boot to the leg, though. Denise, much taller than Kiki, has that leverage advantage. Oh. oh. Throws her down on the floor. Referee's got to get the heck out of the way. He didn't want any part of this. Oh, slamming her head against the floor right there. Dang. Kiki should still be feeling, I mean, still be feeling that beating from last time. I am, I am impressed that she is able to compete tonight. Yeah, and remember the potential concussions that Kiki suffered during their first match when Denise super kicked her off the top rope. Oh. I think that's what frustrates Denise the most, just knowing that Kiki somehow survived that brutal beatdown. And she's got the Mexican surfboard in, so against submissions count outside the ring as well. Kiki rolling oh. her way out of it, though, impressive there. They got yep. kind of caught up, but uh, she's out. Yep. She grabbed her. We going for a DDT? No. Nope. Oh, Russian leg sweep against the mat. Denise ah. in control here. What's Denise going to do? Oh, God. Denise. Denise is in the crowd. Where's she yep. going? She's showboating in the crowd, looks like. Yeah. She's probably telling the crowd how much of a uh, fraud uh, Kiki is. Oh, boy, well, here Kiki we go. going right after her here. Yep, she is not having any of that. Oh, she's taking her. She's taking her to the crowd. Yep, here. Oh, nice headbutt, though. And these counters. Yeah. Oh, dear. oh, God, Kiki oh, falling nice over the, the barricade there. Oh, but she's going to hop right, at, right over, go back after her. Nice slug to the face. Dang. Yep. Oh, These Denise. women are not pulling their punches tonight. Denise fighting back. Oh, nice elbow to the face. Counters, though. We're going to try yep. and keep up with the action as much as we can, but uh, you can see the fans are standing. Because yep, they want... They are, they are loving this. Yeah, they want to see all the action. Yep, I even see a couple of them having their phones out right there. Yeah. And I get a text asking how much money will I lose if Kiki loses here. And uh, you know what? My answer to that is uh, none. Because I'm going to get my Ooh. money back from your wallet. Ooh. Kiki sending uh, Denise beyond the... Uh, what looks like a solid object, I think. But what do I know? I'm just a commentator. Hey, you had done for otherworldly creatures. Maybe this is part of a otherworldly corridor. Or that could be true. And he's fighting back here. Oh! Oh! Big shot to the back and a stiff uppercut. Man, these two, these two women are just beating the heck out of each other. Slugfest galore. Yep, they are just going back and forth with the slug. I mean, with the punches. 
Oh, now she's done trying to work her arm here. Oh, she gets a slug to the face. Oh, oh no, oh, Denise setting her through the the transparent fence. Yeah, these well, two fighting on yep. the edge of the stage. Oh, maybe not. Yep, Denise sending her over to the stage area. Yep, they're walking through the border of dimensions here. Look at this though, Kiki not showing any hesitation in firing back. Yep, she's going to keep firing back. Ooh, she's nice headbutt. Denise pay for what she did to her. Time for a little justice. Show her who's boss. Apparently, oh my God. Kiki is just taking complete control of this brawl here, near the midsection. Woo. Oh, but Denise fights back. Yep, Denise is already trying. Oh boy, what's he doing here? Oh, up step up a kite. Oh, check out that arrow bow. Oh my god, just knockout blow after knockout blow. This is what we. Oh, right to the back of the head. Yeah, oh, no, that up up a kite. We kind of saw in their first match when they were just dealing blows to the head repeatedly. It's yeah. almost like they're trying to give each other concussions at this point. They are trying to knock the other out at this point. This might be true. Maybe they're trying to go for a knockout. That could be true. Ooh. Kiki is... She is just wailing on Denise. Yeah, Kiki so far taking an advantage here. So they come to the other side of the crowd. Oh, Denise has control of her, though. Oh. Dragging her over. Oh, where's she? Oh. Where are they going? Oh, Kiki slips out of it. Yep. Oh, oh the Enziguri. Oh, oh, but Kiki avoids the next shot. Oh, shot to the back. Headbutt. Yeah, headbutt running uh, short arm clothesline takes her down. Woo. Oh, but Denise sweeps the leg to take control. <laughs> There's the referee found, found his way to uh, yeah, the probably action probably here. Be. Yep, he's uh, he got to be here to uh, in case they, these two want to. Oh, pick DDT up. on the floor. Yeah! Look at this crowd. They are just going nuts here. Not sure what Kiki's going to do now. Here we go. Straight up stomp to the gut. All right. Ooh, drops. Ooh, what's the knee? Yeah, drops her body weight down on the leg. Oh, what's she going to do? Oh! Ooh, that, that's got to hurt. Yeah, oh, God, Denise... Managing to lower her own center of gravity to take control here, but uh, that had to hurt the leg. Yep. Denise could be staggering here, folks. Yeah. Whoops Kiki down into the floor there. Looks like we've got a... Uh, oh, God, there's some chairs and trash cans stuff over there. Oh, boy. And it is legal. Denise going to deliver what? that kick to the abdomen now. Pay her back from earlier. Are these are these two going to actually take advantage of the, of the props here? Yeah, I guess we'll find out as Denise goes to work on the leg now. Oh, nice knee driver into the face. <laughs> Not really many pin cover attempts at all. These two are just beating the heck out of each other. Oh, off the, off the crate there. Oh, and a running bulldog just face plants her into the ground. Yep, and of course, Kiki competes to stomp on the back. He looks uh the knee back up. Oh Denise is trying to count oh, back. Keep fighting Laker. back. Yeah, right where we saw this match start. Kiki though counters. Oh, but uh look at Denise, rolls her up here. Oh what? Denise has the leverage advantage. Oh, Denise gets the shoulder up. <laughs> Kiki is dang it. That would have been a clever move by Denise there. Oh, flips the head. Oh! Slams her head against the floor by use of the legs. Oh boy. One Two. Oh, she got her! Denise gets revenge from that oh. devastating shot to the concrete. Dang it. Oh my god. Brutal action here tonight. Look at yeah, that knockout blow by Kiki. Kiki Dang tried it. to work over the leg at the end of the match here. And uh, here's a. Uh, very clever small package by Denise, but uh, Julius uh, looks like the motherland takes the loss here tonight. Uh, I do not appreciate this one bit. I, I ought to steal Denise's keys just for this. Uh-huh. Justice! <laughs>
Denise takes revenge in a brutal brawl against Kiki Spencer Kagura. And our next contest also going to be a uh, kind of bonus match. Remember what happened? Uh, well, you seem to have more information on this than I do, Julius. All I know is they had a yeah. backstage confrontation, but it's, it seems a little deeper than that. Yeah, well, you know, this wouldn't be the way it is on, I mean, unless, uh, well, here, Primer, he, he was kicked out of the NHL because uh, he, he got into a fight with the Rustler. Oh, okay. Electric Primer kicked out of the NHL because of a fight with the Rustler. That's a little bit of different information from what we know, but uh, some of these guys are a little mysterious in their, well, their the backgrounds here. Up, uh, well, the Rustler ended up telling... He ended up contacting uh, his uh, coach, his manager and whatnot, and his manager ended up firing him for getting into a fight with one of the audience. Oh, dear. Of, like, he's gotten into many fights against fellow competitors, but that's usually legal in the NHL, but not against the audience. The Rustler just happened to be a part of the audience that day, and, of course, the Rustler just simply pissed him off, and they got into their fight, and that's how we have here. I mean, that's why we arrived here. He wants revenge for getting kicked out of the NHL because of the Russell. I can imagine. Electric Primer debuting at our last pay-per-view, Coliseum Conquest. But uh, here we go. As uh, the Russell comes on down to the ring here. Got some more texts. Yeah. Got accusations of Julius betting on people, but what if Blaine was the one betting on people? Well... I gotta have the sufficient funds to start betting first, you see. <laughs> kind of spending all my money on other things, thanks, Jerfetti. Oh, 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 what does Jerfetti have to do with him? I mean, with your money being spent? Well, I'll introduce you to the workshop someday. Maybe you can uh, get a gander. <laughs> Freaking Jeff. Another one. Asking where Electric Primer works now. Well, he works here at PDW. Uh, yeah? Evival there, Julius. What a e wonderful e LCD we've got. Yeah, uh, and you know what? It, it, a lot of people you've been cheering on have totally been breaking it. <laughs> they sure have. I think everybody's just breaking the LCD. Maybe what would work is not putting the LCD so close to the rope so that it breaks from a little bit of slamming around. Yep, and I got another text uh, being, co I mean, telling me that apparently Flame Shield called it and wants his motorcycle keys back. Hmm. Why are you what? stealing Flame Shield stuff? Hey, you know what? This could not be his keys. These could be my keys, my motorcycle keys. How do you know? All right, well, Electric Primer goes to work on the neck here of the Rustler to start things off. Electro oh. Primer might want to be careful though. He's got a he's got a vice grip on, but uh, this seems to tell a similar story from what we see in the Rustler. Is he usually takes a bit of a beating in the beginning, but then out of nowhere, he I don't starts know. making the comeback. Yeah. So Electro Primer, I guess he's going to do all that he can to make sure that doesn't happen here tonight. He's seen the Rustler fight. Oh, he God. knows what the Rustler is capable of. Oh dear! And here we go. Oh, oh German suplex. Oh, oh boy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh. uh oh. Russell trying to punch through that hockey mask here of Electric Primer. Yep. 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 Stomps away in the head for a bit. Electric Primer back up. Electric Primer uh, a little taller than the Rustler. Mm. Let's see. Hooks him up. Delayed vertical. Yep. The Rustler's blood going to rush to his head and he gets dropped down on the mat. Yep. He's not, oh! Oh, the wrestler sweeps the leg, though. He stops him. Bring him up, and... Ooh! Trying to work the wrestler's arm. Yeah, nice ring of the arm there. He knows that the wrestler relies on his arms for those finishers. The Frogger Tenderizer. And, of course, the Jimmy Chalice. Leg drop. Yeah, he is... Well, I am not familiar with Electro Prime of Finisher Star, actually. I have not seen him do so. Hmm, I believe he uses a Scorpion Death Drop of some kind, but I uh, don't know if he gives it a specific name. Hmm. Scorpion Death Drop. Oh Guess my we'll god, here comes now. the deadlift. I just, I can't even believe he can just do this with guys who are larger than him. Hey, the Rustler, he 
he lifts. He he has lifted a lot of things during his time as uh, as chief of construction right there. Hammer DDT would know. Yeah. Hammer DDT and the wrestler coming from the same construction crew. Oh, God, the wrestler to the top rope. Oh, no, he jumps down. Has no interest in flying. He just wants to fight. And so far, Electric Primer is giving him a fight, I think. Yep. Electric Primer may I mean, pretty much uh, larger than... Oh, boy, that was one heck of a power bomb right there. That... Yeah. Oh, Electric yeah, Primer giving the wrestler a taste of his own medicine. Usually it's the wrestler throwing people around with those power bombs. So what I gather here is that the wrestler defeated Seventh Center, and Seventh Center is much larger than the wrestler. Electric Primer is pretty much the same situation, and we might end up getting the same result. Yeah. Another text saying that uh, the green suit shows his inner frog. Well, he does yeah. like to make people get out. The wrestler just begging Electric Primer to come at him. It's almost like he's bored or something. Yeah. He... Oh, God, already? Oh, 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 Look at this. What? He's not even going for the pin after it. He's just... He just wants to... He just wants to fight. That, that was the freaking Jimmy Chalice out of nowhere. Yeah. But it doesn't look like it phased Electric Primer too much here. Electric Primer back in control. Oh, oh, what a stiff shot to the elbow there. And another one in the gut. What, to the head? Oh, what other turn of suplex? That was a back suplex, but, uh, yeah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Look back body up. drop counter. Ah. Got the freaking snubbles. Well, here we go. Stomping away on the arm. The Electric Primer might have a winning strategy here if he can keep going with this type of thing. Swoop yep. slam. Nope. Uh-oh, the wrestler counters another back suplex. Yep. Ooh, yep. Stops. Let me stop him in the chest and on, now on the mask. In what universe? You just use your finisher on someone and then seconds later just go back to fighting him normally. This wrestler is a strange character. Oh, no. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Is Electric Primer about to, get, about to get tenderized here? Yes, he is. Ah, oh, God. Pulls, the, pulls the leg away from the rope as well. Wow. He, he beat him. <laughs> The Hustler defeated Electric Primer. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my God. Nobody has been able to figure out the formula against this guy, the Rustler. Well, there is no winning formula, formula against this guy. There is none. He is a beast. He is here to fight. They have a DDT. He's coming for you. Oh dear. Oh. This is this is the general manager, Don Macchio. I wonder what he's got for us tonight. Yeah. He's coming to the ring right now, he's got an announcement for everything. I did not expect to see the general manager here tonight. Look at uh, I wonder how expensive that tie was. Very expensive. Well, the PDW Adrenaline Championship just announced. Oh boy, looks like that's gonna shake the division up a bit. All right, well, even though we have the advent of a new championship here in PDW, we do have two championship matches for you tonight. Yep, and uh, the first uh, match tonight is for the Women's Championship. The that's challenger. right. Challenger. That's right. The challenger, Setsuna Sakura of the Duality Rangers. Yeah, Setsuna Sakura, very impressive. Just when we thought the Duality Rangers were going to go 0-4 in their debuts, uh, well, 
Little Tyke named Setsuna Sakura pinned the women's champion, Julius. I am still shocked that it happened, but at the same time, I'm very impressed. Yeah, I have to say, uh, Setsuna not only controlled most of their first match, but surprised the champion with a small package. Got the pinfall victory. Yep. Let's see if she could go ahead and score a victory again tonight. Yeah, because here comes the first ever PDW Women's Champion, Chroma. All right, everybody favorite rainbow big paint mixer here. That's right. And uh, Chroma didn't seem too phased. I mean, last week she came right back, not only teaming with uh, one of Setsuna's buddies, Toka, but Chroma picked up the victory in that match as well. So she tried to bounce right back and show that she does deserve to be the women's champion. Yep, she got herself a, uh, well, she still got one herself one heck of a challenge here because remember, this one, I mean, uh, Setsuna Sakura did defeat her to get herself into this match eventually. Yeah, and it's gotta be uh, a damper on the psyche of Chroma as well because that was her first one-on-one -on -one match here in PDW. Other than that, Chroma's been in all multi-person matches, tag teams, Fatal 4-Ways. The Six Diva over the top battle royal. Yeah, her first singles match is when she's at when she got the belt and she lost to this Power Ranger here. Here we go. Women's title is up for grabs, everybody. Yep. The schedule for one fall. So what do you think, Julius? Who has the advantage here? Is it Setsuno with the psychology, or has Chroma brought herself back from the brink? I, it's hard to tell at this point, but honestly, I'm actually more in favor of uh, Setsuno here because uh, due to the fact that she won against Chroma and she won the uh, she, she won the uh, match. To, to, to ah, well, Chroma getting Kate a clean break there in the corner. <laughs> But yeah, that I couldn't remember. I was trying to remember if it was a triple threat against uh, Paige Higgins and uh, Lion. And yep, Setsuna got her number one contendership by defeating two divas at once. Uh, Setsuna's undefeated so far, actually. Uh yeah, actually, holy flid. We have more superstars who are undefeated here tonight for you, everybody. But at the end of the night, well, sometimes. Records are meant to be broken, but here we go as Chroma getting the early advantage here against Setsuna. Almost a reverse uh, of the story we saw from their, their last match. Uh, how come Chroma isn't blinking her elbow, bashing against that helmet? Well, you see, Julius, it has to do with the fence from earlier tonight. You see, the fence brought in a type of force field that helps these divas connect against each other in a mystical way and do damage without damaging themselves. In addition oh. to that, Chroma elbows Setsuna, takes her down, goes right to the top rope. Very swift movement there, which looks like she's going to bait in Setsuna Sakura. I I am completely lost this day. Everything you just said, and oh boy, look at that front body right there. Yep, flying crossbody. Chose not to go for the pin, maybe because Setsuna was too close to the ropes. Stiff kick to the gut there. That, or maybe it's just too soon in the match. Setsuna's got plenty of energy to... Uh, to spend. Well, I don't know. We thought Electric Primer and Rustler were in the early goings of their match, but uh, things the happen. The Rustler is in a whole other league. Well, maybe. Here's a kick by Chroma. She's going to go for the tonic that she loves so much. Into oh. the pin. No, no pin cover. Never mind. Just going to do more damage to the back. Yep, I'm going to keep going. You see Chroma pondering uh, more antics on the top rope, but instead opts for the standing moonsault. And now Chroma stalking her prey, but uh, Setsuna fights back with a shot to the face. Shot to the face by <laughs> Chroma. We know things about shot to the faces and uh, Divas tonight. Oh boy, that oh. was... What's that? Hello, Kamana? Oh, uh, kick out kick by out it too. Setsuna Sakura. Yep. Fastened against her helmet again, right there. I mean, you're trying to break the helmet open like a like like a cashew or something, or well, that could be. And like I said, Denise and Kiki tried breaking each other earlier, and that worked pretty well. So yeah, with Denise getting the win on that. Yep. 
Oh, knife edge chop in the corner. Setsuna's so in trouble in the early going here. Spinning leg drop across the neck into another cover. One, two, yeah. God dang it. <laughs> oh, avoids a standing drop kick. Setsuna counters. Oh, but Chroma Ooh. catches her with a heel kick. Right back to the top. Oh boy. She's calling oh. for maybe another flying crossbody. Or probably a drop kick. No well, drop kick could work too. That's in the stun. Oh, she went for the leg drop and caught her with the Hurricanrana. Nice maneuver there. Yep. Looks like Cessna was kind of moving around a little too much. She was trying to aim for the shot and got it. Yeah, Chroma with a little hesitation, but it paid off. Oh, sort of that strike to the face. Setsuna doing a little... Doing a little jig there, but it uh, didn't work. Here's the fisherman suplex into the package slam thing that I never will get right. Cover. One. Two. Kick out. Setsuna certainly taking the punishment here. Yep. Well, look. I wonder if Koma is uh, realizing how dangerous that Sestina actually is and doesn't want to give up the belt that easily. Yeah, Koma's played a powerful game so far. Nice springboard 450 splash. And Setsuna's all in all kinds of trouble so far. This really is the reverse of what we saw so far. Setsuna's going to try something. Oh, goes for the spear. Look at Koma just bashes her down. You know, Setsuna got great victories with that spear. Yep. I uh, figured that might have been like, what if I do? Oh, stretching. Oh, just stretching out the back. Rolls her off. Text asking about the Duality Rangers intent. Now well, they're here to fight aliens and save the world. Wait, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Hang on a second here, Julius. Are we getting ousted? Cover. One, two. Kick out. Saving the world doing what? <laughs> Kick to the spine. Duality Rangers. Yeah, they're trying to save the world. They're taking our place. Hmm. I'm going to have to see about that. As Chroma goes to work here, rolls her over. Rolls her over again. You, you requested a little justice there, Blaine, against the Duality Rangers. Coming to the top, going to pick her spot again. If she's calling for Setsuna, will this connect a third time? Chroma's showing us uh, many moves in her arsenal tonight. This time it is the flying crossbody. Hooks the leg on the pin. One, two. Whoa, last second kick out. Wow, that was so close. Man. And Chroma's getting back on the top. <laughs> she's going right back to the top. I think she's uh, she's getting confident here. She thinks she's got Setsuna's number here tonight. She feels like she's got her at one one more. Oh my oh, god, but oh. Setsuna caught her this time into the power bomb. <laughs> that was shocking right there. I'm surprised she even had it up. Had it up. Oh, there's the spear. As Setsuna yeah. tries to climb back into this thing. She's been down all match. Uh wait. Uh -oh. Sessna's sizing her up for another, for one more. What's she going for here? Kick to the midsection. Has her stunned. Oh, hits the rolling natural selection. Oh, oh my god. Well, goes for the cover. Champion's in trouble here. One. Two. Chroma oh. gets the shoulder up. Wow. Setsuna almost turned this thing around in the blink of an eye. Yep. Yeah. And here I thought that uh, Chroma was actually going to defeat Setsuna with another uh, with another splash or a crossbody. Yeah, for sure. Setsuna was on the ropes, no pun intended, but uh, Setsuna finally caught her. Goes for, oh, Chroma counters, whatever it was. Oh, and uh, Setsuna is uh, fighting back. Another Ooh, spear. Another... Oh, man. And now these high-impact moves are starting to take control for the challenger. But Chroma fights back with a jawbreaker. Oh, nice arm drag by the challenger. And another jawbreaker by the champion. They are going to be Ooh, going back. Big there. slap Ooh. to the face. Another shot by Chroma there. Things are starting to heat up here. Chroma hooks her up, goes for the fisherman suplex. 
And again connects with the modified, Fal modified Falcon Arrow. Roma trying to put a stop to the flurry that she had to endure. I'm surprised Koma has a new... Oh, oh counter. Another slap to the face. Man, Setson is trying to fire herself up. Hits the neck breaker. She's hoping to score the belt for her fellow duality rangers here. Or at least have uh, some kind of prestige to the name of duality. That's right. The duality rangers won a tag team match earlier tonight. We wondered if that was spelling an, Oma, an omen for Chroma's defeat, but Chroma getting right back into it. Trying to just weaken Setsuna at this point. Setsuna is, uh, she's refusing to stay down. She just keeps getting up. Hey, she's a power ranger. If she's going to fight the villains, she's got to keep getting back up. Here we go. Setsuna on the top. Oh, nice uh, double arm flapjack there. Setsuna now trying to get fired up via the help of the crowd. Yep, the crowd. They can... They're cheering on Duality Pink here. And the texts are coming in as the match gets a little intense here. Here we go, Setsuna. Go for this uh, kind of natural selection move again. Oh. Is this one enough to keep the champion knocked out? Cover for the championship. One. Two. Whoa. Kick out God, two. last second kick out again. This time it's Setsuna who's feeling the frustration. Let me going to look hey. for it again. After all, Chroma is the champion. She is not going to go out that easily. She's determined. She's going to go for this move a third time. Hits it. Oh, my gosh. The determination on these women for the title. The cover. One. Two. Oh, my God. The third one was enough. I can't believe it. It happened. She did it. She brought gold to the duality name. That's right. Wow. A complete reversal of fortune here in the second going of the match as Chroma was dominating the beginning of this thing. We thought for sure she was just going to walk away with the win, but finally, determination pays off. Yes! For and Setsuna Sakura. My god, look how close that was for Setsuna Sakura there. One, two, three natural selections, and the women's champion is no more. You're new! PDW Women's Champion, Setsuna Sakura. Yep, and guess what? I have bets on her. I won. Oh my <laughs> God, you freaking bet on her, Julius. <laughs> and it is time for our main event of the evening, everybody. Oh boy, it's May Atlas. Yep, Mace Atlas coming down to the ring, but this time he's coming down to the ring as the challenger for the Global Heavyweight Championship. Mace put on such a great effort at our first pay-per-view Coliseum Conquest, but uh, remember the end of that match, Julius? Mace was a split second too late in preventing Zach Abbott from getting defeated by Hammer DDT. That is correct, and now Mace Atlas gets to try again for the gold. This yep. time it's singles competition. That's right. Mace Atlas is ready. He is focused after going through the gauntlet of the collection agency. Yep. He, we've seen him pull through so many times. Will he pull through here tonight? Yeah, to be the champion, he has to defeat this man. Your global heavyweight champion, Hammer DDT. Oh, yes. This man right here, former construction worker, this man has shown great determination and shown that he is worthy of holding on to that belt. That's right, Hammer taking on all comers as soon as he won that title. He says, I don't care who it is, come after me. I'll fight you. And since then, he's gotten many victories. We've seen his victories over Snipe, Santa Sturgeon. He's been going on tour with that title belt in our house shows. Yep, he has been... He has been showing off that belt, the prestige. The global oh. title getting some prestige indeed, Julius. People know it's a highly coveted title already, and it's only one month in existence. But let me tell you something interesting about this one, Julius. Mm. Both Hammer DDT and Mace Atlas are undefeated by pinfall and submission. Well, somebody's losing tonight then. That's right. It looks like the streak is going to come to an end for one of these two men. The challenger, Mace Atlas. Speedy, fast, those are the same thing. 
has his Destiny's finisher. And the champion, Hammer DDT. He's going to try to terminate Mace Atlas. He's going to try to fire Mace Atlas. He's got the strength. Of a construction worker. But who, Julius, will take ultimate victory in our main event tonight? I will bet on our construction worker here. Wow. I will actually bet on the construction worker. He is the champion. He has shown that he deserves this belt. He has shown, he had pulled through a lot. Uh, he had pulled through so many matches that we thought he would lose, but he didn't. He pulled through. He has shown determination. And these two are ready. This crowd is hyped up. The referee calls for the bell. Here we go. Mace yep. with a swift shot to start things up. Oh, my God. I thought he was going for Destiny's early, but instead hits the Hurricanrana. Oh, boy. We got the championship match, and I got the freaking hold up. God dang it. I'm going to have to call an associate to get this get the cold taken care of at some point. Hmm. Well, if you want to talk size advantage, you need to look nowhere further than Hammer DDT, but we know how much of a beating Mace Atlas can take. So this one, yep. this one could really go either way, Julius. I don't think there's a favorite here. There is no favorite, but naturally for me, I'm only going to bet on the freaking uh, champion here. Well, one title already changed hands tonight. Will it be two for two? As Hammer opens up with a right hand, another right hand, going for a third, knocks down the challenger. Hmm. These two fought so valiantly in that first triple threat match at last month's event. They got to know each other a little well here. You got to think some uh, some new moves or maybe strategy might come into play. Yeah, we'll see if we actually see anything different Ooh. from either of these two competitors. Yeah, nice shot by Hammer there. And one other thing about this contest, Julius, is this is a pure respect fight. I mean, these two have no malice toward each other whatsoever. They just know that they're here to compete and to win that glorious championship belt. I hear that Hammer DDT actually respects Mate Satlas tremendously for enduring so many beatings from the collection agency that should have taken him out, but didn't. Yeah, really, Mace Atlas really fought back here against the collection agency this month. Zach Abbott tried everything in his power to be in this match, but uh, Mace was finally able to slip one out against the leader of the collection agency. Look at these, this turnabout here. Hammer finally grabs him, hits the back suplex. That'll do a, quite a bit of damage. Hammer's so tall that elevated, that elevation do more damage. Perhaps, we'll see. Drops the elbow yeah. along the back. They said this is no munchkin by any means, but Hammer DDT is still the bigger man here. Nice counters. Oh, stiff uppercut. Hammer into the corner. What's Mace going to plan here? Oh, God, he's just sitting him up on the top rope. What could, uh... Oh, my God, the challenger jumps up, hits the nice Hurricanrana. Oh! Into the cover, here we go! One! Two! Kick out of two. Yeah, Hammer gets up. <laughs> Julius is allergic to pin covers. I am not allergic to pin covers. I will hurt you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Justice. We've already admitted to some evil doings here tonight. Oh, Mace counters. Hammer in the corner, maybe trying something similar here. Mace goes for that nice overcastle throw. Takes him down. Oh, Hammer throws oh. him away, though. Ha Hammer does have the power advantage. Nice sidewalk slam. Yeah, got him, on, got him on his ropes here. Let's see. Oh, boy. Hammer uh -oh. DDT is actually... Is he going to make a jump? Big man going to fly. What's he going to do here? Double axe handle takes down Mace Atlas. Yep. Knocks him down. Hammer, oh, you know, for being a construction worker, Hammer is very methodical in what he does here in the ring. He has to be methodical, especially if you're going to be a bit of an architect to help uh, put buildings together. You got to know what you're doing. And apparently. Oh, here, after the tonic, Mace opting to go for the cover after all. Ooh, Hammer quickly kicks out. Yep. Some elbows to the head of uh, Hammer. You will, I 
Just see a little uh, test there. Oh, you nice lead. flying forearm there by Mace Atlas. Guess we could go ahead and call that little axe handle the flying handle, I would call it, because somebody <laughs> just texted Ooh. about it. Step up in Zaguri. All right. Oh, my God, another Let's cover. See. Oh, I don't know if this will work. Yeah, it won't. Hammer with another quick kick out. He's trying to let Mace know what all he's going to have to do to win this championship here. Uh-oh, the spine buster! Oh! We've seen Hammer win with that technique before, but maybe Hammer thinking twice about going for a pin cover instead of opting for some more damage here. Hey, it's Mace Atlas. We've seen him pull through more, I mean, worse than that. Yeah. Hammer, again, very, very methodical, very clever here. He knows what, oh, here we go. He's going to try to terminate him. Oh, my God, Mace counters. Slips out of him. Short arm clothesline. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh. Mace Atlas did not want to get fired tonight. Of course not. He was not going to let oh, that happen. Oh, boy. Standing that shooting star press. That was a thing. Another one. Wow. Looks like he's got to lay on the damage. Oh, my God. Could Mace be going for the destinies here? Champion could be caught right here. Oh, Hammer counters as well. Both of these guys countering each other's finishers. Well choreographed. Unbelievable. Oh, but Mace oh. comes out with the C4. Oh, boy. That. <sighs> What's uh, Mace doing here? Uh, Mace a little winded. I think he's going to try to... Take a breather here. Maybe think about what he needs to do to put the champion down. Hammer starting to crawl to his feet. Or maybe Mace is trying to stalk him for the destinies. But Hammer, very smart, crawling to the ropes. Because if he gets hit with the destinies there, he can just easily get the rope break. Hammer coming back. Let me get back to his feet with the support of the ropes. Oh, nice. Uh, German suplex into a bridge cover here. One. Two. Oh, wow. That was close. Mace Moore, the aggressor here, as far as the uh, the pinfalls are co concerned. Wheelbarrow stunner. And it looks like we got a text saying, I find power screwdrivers more efficient than hammers what? myself. I I don't know why we're talking about power tools here. I'm guessing this is related to Hammer DDT. Hmm. Got quite a few superstars in the back, too, who are engaged in this match and i am looking at a very another absurd text that i would probably just go ahead and just go whoop on oh uh oh hold on here before you get to that mace has got the champion really gonna go for that west coast pop oh he misses again but he does he he always manages to get that knee in the back of the head it looked like it hit him even though he kind of hurt himself in the process, but he looked like he got him. Yeah, he does take himself out when he misses that maneuver, but, uh, oh, Hammer now counters. Champion finally back on top of things, trying to hype himself up here. He's taking quite a bit of damage. Hammer now, big time slug, just knocking Mace down a second one. Oh, my God. Off the rope, Mace counters. Here we go. Oh! oh. Face buster, though. Counter by the champion. And a second oh. spine buster. Is he going to pull him away from the ropes? Let's see. Oh, he's going to try to take out his aerial acrobatics. He's going to have to if he wants to win this match tonight. Yep. Hammer uh, getting into the crowd a little bit here. Crowd has really no favorite here. They're just rooting for both guys. And I, I can't imagine any other outcome. Both these guys so resilient. Here we go. Could be looking to fire Mace Atlas. This time it connects. Yep. yep. Pull him away from the ropes. Yeah, he's yeah, got to I... position him. Here we go. Cover. Hooks the leg. Full pin cover. Referee perfect position. One. Two. Oh, two and a half. Oh, dang. Wow. He's trying to get back up here. Firing Mace Atlas was not enough, apparently. Oh, but Mace is completely winded after that shot. His head's got to be reeling. Well. Whenever somebody gets fired from their job, they don't always have to immediately leave. Oh, oh springboard 450. Connects from Ace Atlas. Who's really going for uh, 
He's really going for broke here. And Mace Atlas wants a shot at that goal. He's going to have to. Superstars in the back now texting about this incredible back and forth action. Snake Eyes busts open Mace Atlas. And this could be where the champion wants him. Here we go. Look at... Oh, I thought he was going to try to terminate him, but he instead gets the back suplex. Maybe too close to the ropes for the termination here. Drives the knee across oh, Mace Atlas here. You know, yeah. I have to also mention that freaking Hammond DDT has gotten busted open in almost all his matches. That's right. Hammer, here we go. Could be a sec. Oh, spikes him with the DDT. He lived up to his name. Going back to work on the leg. We saw him do that a little bit earlier. And goes for the cover. One. Two. Oh. Kick out. Man, Hammer's starting to get winded. He is, uh... For sure, these two guys both showing each other their A game here. They are not holding back. Yep, uh, Mace is firing, firing himself up despite having a busted open wound right there. Mace Atlas still connecting with oh. the second C4. I believe the second one of the match, and he's going right to the top rope here. Oh, no. I don't know, Mace, if you want to be going for this type of risk. Okay, he's instead of going for the big splash. Hooks the leg right here on the cover as well. What? Oh, my God. Two. Oh, oh my God. Whoa, that was so close. Wow. So close. Mace rolls him up here with another wheelbarrow strategy. Oh, into the, just the neck breaker oh, on boy. the knee. My God, that last pin was close. Too close for comfort for Hammer DDT right there. He's going to have to step, I mean, uh, notch his A game up a bit if he wants to hold on to that belt. Mace Atlas could be the new champion. Mace could be the new champion. If this connects, he could be looking for the West Coast pop here. Put away Michael Draven earlier in this month. Here we go. West Coast. Oh, no. Nobody home. He does connect again, though, like you said. Hits him partially, but... Mace has got to—he's got to work on that move. He's already back on his feet, though. He sure so. is. Oh, but Hammer also had enough time to counter. Knee to the open wound. Oh my God! Now Hammer to the top rope. Maybe could be looking for that axe handle again. I see someone thinking the same way yep. I'm thinking with the whole uh, Hammer DDT being busted open more than once and winning despite that. Uh oh. Mace with a stiff uppercut to counter here. Oh, but Hammer... No, Mace manages to quick draw on the Huracurana. I thought Hammer was going to get the power bomb. You know, cover. Yeah, Mace Atlas has been... Oh, cover. One, two. No, another kick out. Mace Atlas has been busted open himself, and he still came out on top as well. He sure has. But, man, these guys oh. are not giving an inch. Yeah, both of these men are... I'm not holding anything back tonight. Oh, nobody home for the frog splash. Wow. Nice move there by Hammer. Hammer with the third spine buster of the match. Could this one be enough for Hammer to put him away? He's pulling him away from the ropes. He's going for a pin. Just these power moves. One after the other. Could this one be the winning one? Yeah. Wait. Oh, my God. The ref says two. It was two. Mace Atlas kicked out in time. He kicked out at the last freaking half second. I don't believe this. Mace is still going. Hammer going to go again. Going to try to terminate him once and for all. The second one Ooh. connects. Can Mace Atlas finally be fired here? He just keeps getting up. Cover by the champion. One. Two. Finally, three. Mace Atlas is put down. Yep. Mace Atlas suffers his first loss. Two does Continues. Reigning champion! It took Hammer. so much! It took so much punishment! But finally, Hammer DDT puts him away! Yep. Hammer DDT, he remains our champion! Holy crap, Julius, what a match! I have to agree, my goodness! I knew we had something special on our hands when they counted each other's finishes right out of the gate here. But, but man, I can't even believe how close this thing was. So many near falls, Julius. 
they were on a whole new level tonight. Three spine busters and two firings later though. Finally, Hammer DDT puts him away. What an amazing main event for the Global Championship. Yep, he, continues, he keeps the belt and he shows it off to the crowd. It remains on top with the prestige it deserves. I'm Blaine Phoenix. And I'm Julius Stapler. Thank you for joining us at Revolution Road, everybody. We'll see you next time.